Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Stardew Valley. Um, if you watched my previous video, you would have heard that I had to discontinue my Artisan Valley series because the mod broke, basically. I, I killed the file by trying to install new mods and then it wouldn't open anymore. So I've gone through and I've installed some new uh, I've picked some new mods, I've kept some of the old ones, I got rid of all the, um, the PPJA crop ones because those were being discontinued and instead I installed the cornucopia ones uh, and this time I've actually put them all into a Google Doc which I'll put in the description below so you can see all the mods that I am using and you can use them for yourself, pick out which ones you want, what not, what not. Um, I've also noticed that the last one had 120 mods and this one only has 57 so <laughs> hopefully it's not as overwhelming and we're not going to do artisan valley we're just going to play the game and get to experience the mods and just have a good time with it i did keep ridgeside and zuzu um, but the only difference is we will have them from the beginning of the year. Um, I wanted to keep like the Baker's mod and the sodas and stuff, but that was all the PPJA. So I was thinking I could even maybe do another series that's just that. So that we can do like the fizzy drinks and the kombucha and, and we can do all that. Um, and that one obviously wouldn't need any updates because it doesn't... So just be back, probably base game just with those, just to see what those are like, because they, they seem really fun and they seem really exciting. And I really wanted to do the Baker's one because I wanted to do chocolate. I wanted to do the chocolatier, but that's obviously all in that brand of stuff. And I thought maybe I'll make a series out of that and maybe they just a video or two on the other ones. So come with me as we start a new series. We could do whatever we like. Um, it will just be a play one because I'm not really, I'm not ready for another challenge like that one. <laughs> it was a little bit of a mission. Money was definitely an issue. But we, um, we get to restart and try again. So let's see what we can do with what we're given. I always seem to go for this this here and other ones. I'm like, I don't know why. I just don't know if the short options are quite my style. Should I go for this one? I'm going to wear a trash hat anyway. No one's going to be able to see my hair. Uh, so we will remember dog this time. Well, there are actually more cat options than I remember. Oh, that one's so cute. I want this dog. That one's so cute. It's got a little scarf like me. Ooh, rustic roots sounds good. I definitely didn't Google it. Rustic roots farm. That's pretty cool. Uh, I think we can skip the intro. Okay. Officially starting the new series. Nah. We've done it. We're ready. And the game crashed. I think I'm going to have to stop trying to play today. Hey guys! <laughs> Should I just restart the whole thing? Ooh. Saving. 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 Save! We did it! I didn't even have to play any days, but we've got the game open at least. Whoa, this is cool. That's sick looking. We start with a calendar and a nectarine tree. You received a nectarine sapling. Cultivate and harvest a parsnip. I didn't start with parsnips. This, again, still don't need to watch the TV. Look, a pear tree. 
Hey Lioness, I forgot to ask when your birthday is when you moved in. I wanted to make sure I knew that I could make a record of it. Town documents. I want to make sure you feel welcome after all. Just fill out this form here and you'll be good to go. We decided winter 29th because my birthday's win like for me. Wait. Yeah, no, for me it's winter tw like it's June 29th. It's my birthday. And June is in winter for me, but it's in summer for America. Um, but I'm not in America, I'm in New Zealand, so we're going to go with just my original birthday. And basically, it's so we can celebrate the end of the year with my birthday. Okay, winter 28th. I'll be sure to remember that. See you soon, Linus. Ah, we're here. This is cool, this little back area up here. A pear tree! Look at this. This is sick. I guess first things first is to go and buy some seeds probably, eh? Because we don't really have any... Um, to start with, because we started with a nectarine tree, which is a summer. I guess that works out. If we plant it today, it'll grow in, by the time summer's here. I do have an issue with I'm never happy with where I plant my trees. I always want to move them. And we probably won't be getting the greenhouse for a while. Because I'm so good at this game. That it feels like we should probably... I kind of want to put it back here, actually. I think this would be a cute little... Oh, we we have an, another tree, too. What is it? Apricot. No. Yeah. I just spotted an apricot tree. I think we might put it back here. Yeah. We can always move it. I found out in the last series that you can cut down trees and still get the saplings before they even grow, so... Oh, you're going to not let me get there, though. How are you going to give me a tree I can't get to? It's so rude. I just want to explore the farm, but we should probably do other things first. Because this tree is cool. Unknown. Oh, that's what it was. Need it for the construction. But Wait, I don't have the bundles unlocked. You can't tell me what's in them yet. That's cheating. That's cheating. Mine cards in my own house? I won't say no to that. I can't get rid can't get to it though because of that. So that's cool. Hey, I remember this cut Sheen. I got it in year two. I guess I should treat this serious. Like I don't remember. She should need not too loud now. What if someone heard you? They might find out about me and Chill Lulu. No one cares. Anyway, I gotta go. Still got lots of paperwork left. Real nice of you to straddle me with that, by the way. Stop calling me that. And it's your own fault for procrastinating all the time. No can do, Lulu. It's my right. It's your big sister. Anyway, gotta go. Gotta catch a cable car before it fills up. Take care now. Surprise! I'm here. Lioness. Oh, nice seeing you. So, how much of that did you hear? Lenny. My Lewis has a sister. That was Lenny Maldis' sister. She came by to give me Ridgeside, Village, Ridgeside Village's financial reports from last year. Ridgeside Village. Oh, your grandpa never told you. There are neighbours in the mountains to the west. You can use the cable car to head up there if you'd like to visit. The cable car is, is a marvel of engineering. Who knows how they paid for it. I did hear that someone in the village has close ties to the governor. Anyway. Do go visit when you have the time. A part of their tourist revenue goes to Pelican Town, you know. Are you calling me a tourist? I better get back to town. Goodbye now, Lioness. Because I'm not a tourist. I live here now. Ridgeside Village, huh? I should visit sometime soon. Are there any new... Okay, so there are some new ones. <laughs> Look at all these trees! Hazelnut, nutmeg, eucalyptus, cinnamon, camphor, walnut, yumi, 
pomelo, pine, lime, grapefruit, fig, cashew, almond, pistachio, cocoa, avocado. So we're definitely still going to need to deal with that. So I added this mod called custom bushes, which changes some things into like bushes. So they grow a bush and the bush stays there for the whole year, but it only produces like this one for say black currants in summer. So that's pretty cool. But it does like it took some like blueberries and hops and stuff. So those things aren't just seeds anymore. What is this? Morning glory starter. Why are you so expensive? Anyway, we need a parsnip. Cucumber. Cucumbers are more expensive than they harvest. Oh, but they reproduce. I don't really know what to buy. Nine potatoes and another parsnip just to use up all our money. Abysmal. Not a single piece in the entire collection. Do you think he just moved into town too? So we're both new? What's this? You found something. Let me see it. Remarkable. It's very old. I'd love to study this in greater detail, but it is yours. Hmm. I've got the favour to ask you, would you consider donating any new artefacts or minerals that you find? We can make a groundbreaking discovery together. Oh, and who knows? If you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send you away. Think about it, will ya? If you decide to donate, just bring the objects to the front desk. Yes, person who didn't introduce themselves. Here you go. You can have... My rusty spur. Oh, I can't get back there to talk to you. How am I meant to become your friend? If I can't talk to you while you're at work. Oh, there's a button unless you rearrange it. That's cool. There's only one thing in there right now, so I don't need that right now. Whoa, it actually shows up on the map. That's so cool. I don't need to run around and check because I already know what's going to be there. Nothing. <laughs> I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. I hope you find your own work equally rewarding in time. Well, I am new, so I don't know what work I'll enjoy. I used to be a little, uh, little office worker, sitting at my desk, slaving away in my suits. Wasn't quite ready to come for the farm life. All I own is suits. Oh hey there, you're the new owner of the Rustic Roots Farm. I'm Victor, it's a pleasure to meet you Linus, is it? I like that, Rustic Roots. Wow, look at all these people. Oh hello ma'am, I haven't seen you around before. Nice to meet you, I'm Philip. I work as a physical therapist for some, for some individuals around the area. I'll see you around. I didn't even know that about him. See, like that's something that I missed out the first time playing because I didn't get the introduction conversations. I didn't know what he did. Um, I don't know you. Oh, you're the new farmer? I'm Yuma. Sure is my big brother. Well, I need to go. Bye. Oh hey, I haven't seen you around before. This guy's handsome. Are you new here? Sorry, I don't get out to socialise much. Name's Shido. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I definitely missed out on the f like the first time meetings of everyone when we installed the mod the other way, so I'm glad that we got to do it again and actually get to like have those like, oh, I've never met you before conversations. Because I actually think I'll learn more things. Hello, it's nice to meet you. You picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. Might actually get to understand more about the story and Ridge side by actually starting it at the start of the the start of the game. How's it Morris's birthday already? I don't know what to get him for his birthday. Maybe he likes Pierre. I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does that sell like you? Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by P Pierre's general store today and check out our affordable packs. Hello there. Just got back from the fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I got something for you. I guess now we can sell one pair because we've got another one. 
I guess we're going to get them all every day. What did, do you think Morris will like? I definitely went through the struggle of I didn't know what to give him last time. Every time I gave him something, he didn't like it. Do you like pears? Ah, delightful birthday surprise. Residents of Stardew Valley are truly generous at heart. If you need cheap seeds, you know you better play some Jojo Mart. Well, he didn't hate it. It was normal. It's not usually called normal, is it? Huh, there's a new tab. Artisan items. Ingredients. There's a whole new bunch of tabs. Okay, it was alright. He didn't hate it. I'd say that was successful. Do we want to watch all the cutscenes or should I skip them? I guess if it's somebody's first time, they might want to see the cutscenes. Ahoy there, miss. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. Uh, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Here, I want you to have the old, my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. Woo! You received a bamboo pole. There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now. So come by if you ever need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. Hehe, <laughs> that's what me old puppy used to say. I need a new chair, guys. I can hear it every time I move. Now I see bubbles. Will they still be there by the time I get around to it? <coughs> bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. Oh yeah, fishing time. Let me just get level 1, then we'll go give the seaweed to whoever wanted it, because I didn't actually look. I just saw seaweed. Um, nice. Lewis. And then maybe we'll go fishing up at the other edge. What is this? Sea salt. That's cool. My inventory is full. Carrots. Damn, a chunk of rock salt that comes straight from the ocean. That's cool. I'm sure that's used for something. Guys, we already found something new. I haven't even been playing that long. Mayor Lewis, where are you going? George, where are you going? George never leaves the house. Why, well, hello. I'm Gus, ship and owner of Stardrop Saloon. Stop by if you need any refreshments. Always got hot coffee and cold beer at the ready. So, how was your first night in the old cottage? Your grandpa used to complain about the ricky old bed, but I think deep down he actually loved that house. Don't eat it. Hey, you brought me the item I asked for. I really appreciate it. Here's a little something for your troubles. Why have you got a question mark above your head, Mayor Lewis? I already gave you your seaweed. Does it, does it, the thing you mean that there's a cutscene? Or is it just a coincidence? Ah, hello there, Linus. I was loading some more prizes into the machine here. It's a new program I've come up with to help promote a, a spirit of goodwill among the townsfolk, you included. It's pretty simple. Sometimes when you help out others in town, you receive a prize ticket. You can turn them in for rewards. Here's, there's some special stuff in there. One time I got bombs. Which feels like it's not safe to put in a prize machine. My only worry is that people will just go after the tickets rather than cultivating a true companionship for their fellow man. Yeah, I'm in it for the prizes. I just want to help. Is that so? Well, I'm glad to hear that. At any, at any rate, keep checking the help wanted board in town. There's a good way to get your hands on more tickets. Good luck out there. Sounds like it's the apocalypse. Wait. No, it's still got the explanation mark. Okay, I think the game just broke a bit. 
There's a mod that lets you become a chef in the saloon, and I'm kind of interested. Should we give it a go? Maybe that should be a separate video. I feel like we shouldn't add any more mods to this one. We should just play this one, and then we can add more mods. Like, we can just do more videos with other mods that we want to try. I think that's probably smarter. Wow, look at the pretty sky. Hi there, farmer. I'm Paula. I'm glad I'm an army medic for the Fern Gill Armed Forces, recently reassigned to Ridgeside. If you ever get yourself hurt, I'll be there for you. See, like, I didn't know she was an army medic. Like, there's just things like this I'd never know. Oh, hey, you're a new face. I'm pretty new to town myself. My name's Sheen. Let's hang out sometime. Sheen Sean. I don't know what to call him. I'm going to call him Sheen. Oh, that's so cool. It tells you who lives where. Wow. Cool. So we didn't end up doing more fishing. But we did meet a lot of people and I actually got to learn some things about people. Oh yes, it's raining. I don't have to water my crops. What a lovely day. I don't like this tree being so close to my crops. And I don't like this tree blocking them either. Remove the trees. Up here, for me, I will sell it. Oi! No! That's naughty. I want to know, because you can make friends with Morris, right? If you get rid of Jojo, does, can you no longer, like, is he no longer around to be friends with? Or does he stay? Because Pierre obviously lives here still, but he just comes here for work. So if you went with Jojo and the Jojo Mart stayed, then of course he'd stay around. But if he didn't, then does he still stay around? What is this fish? It's like a key. Looks like a fish with no end, it's just a head. And like a skeleton body. Level 2! It's crazy how in the last series, like, fishing was the one that I had the highest for ages, and then it was the last one that I needed to get all my fishing, uh, all my level up done, because I just stopped fishing because there was no point. Because I couldn't sell them, because they, were, they weren't artisan goods. Now we won't have stockpiles and stockpiles of stuff. I'm so sad. If Even if I'd had one more day to just sell everything to see how much money I could have made from selling all those chests full of stuff. Oh, that would have been nice. Maybe I shouldn't install the noclip mod, run around to the chest, empty them all and sell everything. And then, um, and then just be done with it. Right now I just put all the mods into a separate folder and went, these are just Artisan Valley mod mods. Maybe one day we'll be able to play it again. I don't know how I feel about that being changed into that because it's, it's not something like a community will come and use. I feel like that's like a person thing. Like it's like you keep that at your house. You don't... Put that in the town center and be like anybody can come and just chuck their apple in here for the next two weeks like it's not really a community type thing i hope no one walks there i got one a tadpole that's cool i kept my ring mod because who doesn't want to wear eight rings a book? A treasure chest? Damn! We're rich now. Wait, they're only five... Oh, okay, five thousand. You learnt a few things about fishing. Well, now I will have enough for the backpack and fishing rod. And I didn't even have to sell any of my fish. Level one, foraging. Level two, fishing. Level three, fishing. And we're billionaires. Just so you know, it got hot, so I took my jumper off. That's why I look different. Oh yeah, I forgot we got all the ores. Uh, hi there, good morning. I noticed that you've been breaking some rocks up and finding ore. That's good. Ah, 
I don't know what they said. Just so happens I had an extra set of blueprints lying around here. Here, I want you to have them. Something about a furnace and to smelt the ores and to craft copper bars and the furnace allows you to smelt metal bars. The bars can be <coughs> used for crafting, construction, and tool upgrades. When you've smelted a few copper bars, considering ha consider having me upgrade one of your tools. It can make your work a lot easier. Well, okay, I'm heading home. Take it easy. Dear Farmer Lionette, you might need some more space someday. That's where I can help. If you bring me some raw materials and pay a fee, I can expand your house. The first expansion I offer includes a kitchen. With a kitchen, you'll be able to cook any recipe you learn. Anyway, hope you're starting to feel at home in Stardew Valley. Your local carpenter, Robert. Is it? For some reason, I thought that wasn't a mail we usually got. That was confusing for a second there. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to plant these rice shoots. And then we're going to go get a backpack upgrade, a fishing rod upgrade, and maybe we'll see if we have enough money to buy the, um, the ore we need to get a tool upgrade. And if we do, oh, no, we won't. We won't have enough because we'll have, we have to get enough ore for the furnace, then enough ore for the... Or the tool and then have the money to buy the tool. This is interesting. What is this? This is probably a good spot for animals. Maybe. Okay, let's go get these upgrades. And then I guess we'll just go fishing. <clears throat> Maybe we'll try and get the money that we would need to buy the ore. Ooh, what's this? Peppercorn. Peppery. Perfect for adding a kick to any dish. You've got a large backpack. Your inventory has upgraded to 24 species. Fish smoker, seaweed salad, fiberglass rod. This is such a nice add to, um, expanded like it sucks that you have to wait until the end of the game basically to get that one open oh we haven't met lines yet a stranger hello don't mind me i live out here alone that's a good find i'm always happy to eat wild foods thank you here comes the cat I'm gonna say hi to the people You can say hi if you want. Not to me. I don't know whether passing out's a good idea because I don't know whether I want to lose money or not. Sorry, Panther, but you're in the way. I blame the cat. Couldn't see. I mean, it's probably easy to hit other levels. It's just like fishing doesn't feel like it takes as long, probably. I just saw a Sebastian, so I should probably go say hi because I haven't met him yet. Hello, sir. Oh. Oh, you just moved in, right? Cool. Out of all the places you could live, you chose Pelican Town? Oh, Gus wanted a large mouth. Don't worry, Gus, I remembered. It's so empty in here. Hello, Linus. Is that the large mouth bass I replied? Thank you for quite loving it. Here, did he literally. Bit, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> that interaction was just not it. Go, I've been looking forward to this beverage all afternoon. I hope you're farm farming in a sustainable way. The valley's eco-friendly, fragile. Have this. Wow, it's beautiful. This color makes me think of all the spiritual power within the forest. Can you feel that woody energy? I've never had her say that to me before. That was weird. Okay, let's sell the 75 full head and if we get 75 that means we have to sell everything tomorrow if we get more maybe we'll do this one because then we can compare it no just one so 93 
Not that we can sell all our fish until next episode anyway. Level 4, recycling machine, worm bin, fish were 25% more. We got 93 for it. And now it's worth 116. So you have to sleep first before you sell it. I'm going to skip this for now. Because that will be next episode. Actually, that's good. You guys should comment name ideas for my doggo. We've gone to next episode. And then we'll sell all our fishies. We might actually hold on to a couple just maybe we'll do the bundle and then we'll sell them uh wait what am i doing oh i got no i guess we'll just stand here comment below uh names for my doggo if you have any ideas and thanks everyone for watching hope you have a good rest of your day night with maybe few and i'll see you all next time bye